Hi everyone, I'm Sibao from New City Malaya Medical Center Epilepsy Research Team. Today I'm going to talk about death in epilepsy. Epilepsy is a chronic neurological disease which affects 50 million people worldwide. We all know that epilepsy can be very debilitating to a person in the long run. Although unusual, epilepsy can actually even lead to death. This brings us to the main focus of our study. What are the chances that death may occur to a person with epilepsy? We have conducted a study and found that the death rate among people with epilepsy is 1.6 times higher compared to general healthy population of Malaysia. However, it varies according to region. Some can be as low as 1.8, 2.3 in USA, while it can be as high as 6.5 in Kenya. Now, who are more at risk of death from epilepsy? In our study, we discovered that patients who are younger, of male gender, and of Indian ethnicity have higher risk of death from epilepsy. People with epilepsy who are in the younger age group usually suffer from complicated neurological problems since birth, and some also have intellectual disability. This may explain the higher death rate among this group of people. Also, people with epilepsy who are of Indian ethnicity were also found to have higher death rate in our study. This may, in part, be owing to the fact that our Indian ethnicity tend to hail from lower social economic backgrounds. Speaking of the cause of death in epilepsy, not all deaths of people with epilepsy are due to seizures. In our study, majority of the causes of death are not related to epilepsy. For instance, from cancer, lung infections, or heart attack. As for epilepsy-related deaths, we noticed that the most common cause is SUDEP, sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, followed by status epilepticus, which is a seizure persisting longer than 30 minutes. Drowning and motor vehicle accidents due to seizures are also epilepsy-related deaths, which can potentially occur. So, what is SUDEP? SUDEP is one of the commonest causes of epilepsy-related death, usually described as sudden and unexpected death of someone with epilepsy who is otherwise healthy, sometimes witnessed and sometimes not. And no other cause is found when an autopsy is done. Some people may be found dead from SUDEP in their sleep. Some studies suggested that heart rhythm abnormalities or breathing problems as the culprit of SUDEP, but the real mechanism is still not really well understood. In our study, we have 12 patients who passed away due to SUDEP. Most of them had poorly controlled seizures, seizures which were generalized tonic-clonic in nature, intellectual disabilities, and unwitnessed deaths at home. On top of that, we have made some attempts to find out the risk factor of epilepsy-related deaths. In our study, we found that the deaths are more likely to be due to epilepsy if their epilepsy is of structural cause and younger age. As previously mentioned, people with epilepsy who are in the younger age group usually suffer from complicated neurological problems since young, and this may contribute to the likelihood of their deaths from epilepsy. Those with structural abnormalities such as brain tumor, stroke, or injury to the brain are more prone to epilepsy-related deaths because of the nature of the epilepsy, which tends to respond poorly to treatment, causing them to have frequent seizures. 
Do sum up my video, although there are many factors that may cause epilepsy related death, it's still largely preventable. So how can we prevent SUDEP and other epilepsy related deaths? The best way is by controlling the seizures with anti-seizure medications. It's also imperative to be more vigilant of the potential safety issues around people with epilepsy to minimize injuries from seizure which are potentially fatal. Here comes to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.